right, good morning. Uh, it's like seven, I need to get off the boat soon, so. I'm just packing everything up and getting ready. I'm back in my um, Yeah, that's Miami. It's really cloudy today. It's supposed to rain. It's really sad. I wish I had a few more days, but off to Palm Beach I go. I didn't sleep good last night, so I'm exhausted. And Probably, I don't know. I'm gonna take a nap later. Alright. Okay, it's been a long day. It is seven, almost seven thirty at night. Uh, the last time I talked to you guys, I was still on the boat, getting ready to leave. So I haven't vlogged all day. I got off the boat, drove from Miami back to Palm Beach. And it's been kind of a rainy and like crappy day, it still is. Um, I mean, it's, it's cloudy. It's overcast. It's We got thunderstorm warnings and stuff like that. So I kind of just hung out today. So there really wasn't much to talk about or vlog about. But I'll show you the, the new room. Um, so... This is when you walk in. Here's the bathroom. And nothing special. It is a bathroom. The only thing that's cool is it's a, it's the first um, hotel I've ever stayed in that has like an actual stall, stand up, shower, and no bathtub. Uh, closets. Mirror. Bed. It has a couch. And that's my bags from Publix. Uh, sink area. I had to get those are plastic forks. The rest of my mess. I'm not even gonna cover it up. That that's my mess. That's how I'm living right now. Um. Anyway, there's really not much to update on. I am in. So this is gonna be. I'm gonna sit on the couch. I'm in Palm Beach. Um until Tuesday and then I go back home to New Jersey uh, so I have a couple different plans while I'm here I don't really know how it's gonna go yet so we'll talk about that tomorrow but like I said today it's not it was very uneventful I really want to sit down and do a, like a sit down video but I was gonna do that yesterday and then it got late and I wanted to go to bed because I need to be up early and today I'm so exhausted I was up at 6 30 to be off the boat by 7 30 and then on the road by uh well whenever i get out on the road wasn't really a time on that i couldn't check into the hotel yet when i got up up to palm beach so i went to the mall the gardens mall for a little bit i bought a hoodie at hollister um i bought I bought this um, mini cookie cake from Miss Fields. I always get them when I'm down here and they're really, really yummy. Um, I got a brownie, like a, it was a vanilla frosted brownie. And after that I went down to a restaurant. I went down to the restaurant, it's called Sailfish Marina. If you've ever been to Palm Beach, it's one of the best places. I love going there. The environment is awesome. and. You, get to, you can feed the fish and sit on the dock and it's really cool. Um, so I went there, I hung out there for a little bit. I got some lunch, I had fish tacos. Um, yeah, and then I went to a place called Wings. It's down, it's down by Riviera Beach um, and it's in this place it's called Wings. And I got this dress for my daughter. It was on clearance and I just thought it was really cute. It was really cute. So I got that and 
I got a beach towel because I didn't, I brought, I brought one with me, but it's all wet and gross. So I figured I'd just probably pick up another one. This was pineapples and like hibiscus flowers. And I really like the color. So this is, this is like my favorite shades of blue. And I got that. And I got this hoodie from Hollister. It's just a white, like cropped hoodie. Oh, you'll probably see me wearing it a bunch. So that's about it. I also got a slice of pizza. I ate a lot today, more than usual. But yeah, like I said, there's really not much I'm doing. There's not much that I did today. I don't know, but I've been coming to Palm Beach my whole life since I was little, so I know my way around. It's, it's like home. It feels so right to be here. It feels so natural. Even the drive home from Miami just felt good, normal, I guess. It didn't feel out of out of my comfort zone. Like going, the growing on the cruise was really, really weird. But I had a lot of fun. I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. I might get, order dinner and go pick it up. Depends on the weather, I don't know. I might just eat, um, I have some leftovers, but I don't have a microwave, I don't think, so I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, I got a raspberry Danish from, it's not a Danish, it's one of those, like, here, I'll show you. <laughs> I already had a piece of it, but it's one of these raspberry coffee cake things, and I get them every time I come down here, and my mom and I, we would always get them and put them in the fridge because they're really good when they're cold. So, I'm gonna put that back in there. Yeah, so I probably might eat some of that for dinner. I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner yet. I also got a bunch of these acai, a, a, I call it acai, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, they're the Sambazon original, like acai drinks smoothie things they don't have them where i'm from so this is the only place i've ever gotten them i've ever found them and i love them and they're really good so i look forward to them so i do have a balcony in this room i was just out there and fun fact about me i am absolutely deathly afraid of moths and it has to be one of the weirdest irrational fears I've I could explain and I don't know. I don't know what causes me to be afraid of them. I don't know. I have no idea. Anyway, well there was one like down on the track on the sliding door and there was one down on the track of the sliding door and I wanted to get rid of it. And I saw, I was coming back in and I saw it. So I quickly closed the door and now I'm like afraid to go out there. Even though it's gone because I took a cup of water and I kind of just shoot it away and it did fly off, but I'm scared it's gonna come back and kill me. They like, it's a weird thing. It's like, I'm afraid of them and they skeeve me out to a point where like, after I see one, I feel like they're like gonna fly all around me or crawl on me or land on me or whatever. It's the most disgusting thing ever. I don't know. They just, they're gross and they are like, I don't know. They just, they're out to get me. It's weird. Um, yeah, but here's here's the outside again. Mm. There's a boat all the way out there. Some they someone just got married. Someone, two people just got married on the beach. That's what. Let me zoom in. That's what that is. It's like their thing. And I'm assuming they're, I'm assuming they're having their reception in like, if you look over top of the roof, there's this little, that thing right there. It's like a tent like thing. I think they're having their reception there because there's a lot of yelling and loud music and it sounds fun and I'm sad that I wasn't invited. Totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. So th the roof isn't the best scenery, but it's okay. The beach makes up for it. It's beautiful there. So as you probably can tell, I'm like, I'm a beach girl. <laughs> I love the beach. Um, I always have ever since I was a baby. I live by the beach, uh, but in New Jersey, but it's not, it's not the same as it is here. 
and I know a lot of people love to go to the beach in New Jersey and I don't know I don't get the appeal I don't get it it's I love it I'm so thankful that I live near the beach and that I I have a beach by me but if I could choose I would definitely come down here in a heartbeat one day I hope to live down here oh like I said I think I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for dinner I don't know yet I know a lot of restaurants down here, so it's just a matter of which one do I want to go to. The thing with it is, like, when I was on the cruise, every night I went out, I didn't have to pay for my dinner. Um, all my dinner was included, my drinks were included, a lot was included, and now it's I'm completely on my own again. So it's trying to figure out what what I could fit into my budget. I can't exactly go to a restaurant where you're eating fifty dollar meals. So, but I don't want, I don't necessarily eat. I don't like to eat fast food. There's like McDonald's and Burger King and stuff, but I'm not, it just turns me off so much. I, I think it all tastes the same. Like, let me, let me know what you think. Do you think McDonald's, everything at McDonald's tastes the same? Because I swear like the fries, the chicken nuggets, the burgers, everything, it just all tastes exactly the same. And I don't, I don't know why that is, but I'm not, I'm not really a big fan of McDonald's. I rarely go there. I love Wendy's chicken nuggets. Taco Bell is probably my favorite fast food place. And then Burger King. And talk about they're probably together so I don't, know. I don't even know what I'm talking about I don't know why I'm talking about it it's hard when you have no one to talk to and all you have is a camera to talk to it's it's not, okay I have people to talk to I talk to my mom my boyfriend my daughter my friends I I still talk to them but it's just it's different when I want to be more personal, I just talk about random stuff, what I'm doing with my day, where I'm going. And I can't talk to anyone really long enough. You know, everyone's got their lives, uh, <laughs> including me. So sometimes I just like to ramble and talk about pointless things. Yeah, like dinner and fast food. Yeah, well, anyway, I guess. Yeah, it's quarter twenty of eight. So I'll check in. Let you know what I do for dinner. <laughs>